Hey, I'm Cassidy and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I share easy vegetarian recipes every single week. Hit subscribe and you'll never miss a new video. This week we're making zucchini corn fritters, which are perfect to make if you have oodles of zucchini in your garden or if you just want a taste of summer. These fritters are easy to make and filled with a little bit of sweetness and texture from sweet corn. They're ready in just under 30 minutes, so let's get started. Set out one cup of frozen sweet corn, let it thaw for about 30 minutes, or throw it in the microwave for about 30 seconds to a minute to let it thaw there. Here is my zucchini of choice. It is absolutely massive. It's from my mom's garden. It grew a little too long, so hopefully it's still good in there. Usually I recommend using two medium zucchinis to get about two cups of shredded zucchini. This guy is probably gonna make that much, fingers crossed. We'll start by chopping off the ends of the zucchini. Because this is such a big zucchini, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in half just to make shredding it easier. Now take your box grater and use this side and we're gonna grate the zucchini with that. Just take the zucchini and run it down the sides and grate it until you have two cups of shredded zucchini. All right, let's see how much zucchini that made. We need two cups, so just pack it on in there. And I'll put it in this fine mesh colander because we're going to sweat the zucchini. And two cup. Sprinkle the shredded zucchini with salt and this helps sweat the zucchini. Spread it out in the colander so that it's as thin a layer as possible. And we'll let this rest for just 10 minutes to sweat the zucchini. This removes some of the moisture and makes it so that your fritters don't fall apart. This is an important step, do not skip it. So we'll set this aside and we can start mixing up everything else. We're using basil here for flavor so we can go ahead and roughly chop that up. We just need about one tablespoon of basil. You could use one teaspoon of dry basil if you don't have fresh. But it's summer. So it's a good time to grow some fresh basil. We're gonna whisk this egg, and you can use a flax egg if you wanna make these vegan. That's just one tablespoon of ground flax seed, three tablespoons of water. Mix it together and let it rest for five minutes. Crack it, put it in, and whisk it before adding it to the rest of the ingredients so that it gets all cohesive and combined. After 10 minutes, we can push that zucchini through the strainer. You can either use a paper towel or just use your hands and just push it. Collected a fair amount of liquid here, so I'm just gonna go dump this out so that I can use this bowl. And now, let's get to making those fritters. We added two cups of zucchini. Go ahead and add in half a teaspoon of paprika, another quarter teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of chopped basil, that egg we whisked up earlier, and we'll be adding in half a cup of flour, and this helps everything hold together. I like to measure it out spoon and level so that we don't end up with too much flour. It's just the most consistent way to measure since we don't use the metric system here. So add in that half cup of flour. I'm using a microplane to add two cloves of garlic, but you can also just mince it. And last but not least, corn. So we'll add in that one cup of thawed corn. Now we're just gonna mix everything together until it is nice and cohesive. We're just gonna wait another five minutes to let everything meld together. While you're letting that rest, we can head over to the stove and start heating up a pan to cook these fritters. Place a large skillet on the stove over medium heat, and once that's hot, go ahead and add in about a tablespoon of olive oil. Let that heat up and swirl it around the pan so that it's nice and coated. And once that's hot, go ahead and use a cookie scoop or a quarter cup measure to scoop in your fritters. Most importantly, make sure to press those fritters down so that they're thin. This will make it so that they actually cook all of the way through. So we're gonna cook these here for about two to three minutes. After three minutes, we can flip the fritters. Oh, perfection. This is where a nonstick skillet and oil come in handy. Now for the best part, let's take a bite. Mmm. So good. There's that nice pop of sweetness from the corn combined with that basil and of course the zucchini has this wonderful char on it. I think you're gonna love this recipe. As always, the entire recipe and ingredients list is on my blog at CozyPeachKitchen.com. I'll leave a link down below in the description. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you liked this video and please hit subscribe. That way you'll get new vegetarian recipes straight to your inbox every week and you'll never miss a video.